Oh, well, I expect 25% to get an A, 25% of 20. Yeah. So that's 25% of 20, that's 30% of 20, so forth. What should both of these add up to be? 20. So that's on the chart I did it just to make a quick check to make sure I did my percentages right. It better add up to the number of students I have. Point oh one. That's given in the problem. Uh, for my problem that I'm making out of this, yes. Let me catch up to you guys. Everybody's got that. It's going to go away right now. Uh, so let's let's find our, our critical score first. Let's do this <coughs> more in the way that we used to. Uh, Alpha is 0.01. What's my degrees of freedom? Good, because there's four categories. So real quick word about that 20. Behind all this, like always, it's assuming that where I'm taking these values from is normally distributed. So if that was more than uh, 30, then the sampling means would be distributed. So I got what's got to be behind the background is it's a normal distribution that I'm taking these values from. So that's that's kind of like uh, the 20 doesn't come into account any other way besides if it was a large enough sample, I could say something. Um, so what's my critical score going to be? Degrees of freedom is 3, 0.01, yeah, 11.345, I like it. So 0.01. Degrees of freedom is 3, 11.345. So that's how far enough, how far away I've got to get to show evidence that uh, they are different. Right? So now the table, these are nice numbers. So I get 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 1. Don't add those, it don't matter. And then you take each one divided by the expected, so here I get 0 0.8, 0 0.16, blah, blah, blah. Point who? 4 divided by 7? 5, 7, 1? And then 0 0.5. Yeah, is everybody cool with those numbers there? Yeah. Everybody got these, right? It's just squaring the differences, and then you just got to take those divided by the expected. Yeah. And then when you add these up, what are you getting in? 2 point? 0.038. Yeah, so we're supposed to be this far away to show evidence that they're not the same. So we have failed to find evidence that they're not the same. So we basically, it looks like they could possibly be the same. Uh, that the whole population could follow that distribution that they laid out in the book. Yes, sir. Theoretically, what if you get like 11.33 as, as zero? Then you still haven't found sufficient evidence. Okay. But I mean, in the real world, right. the closer you get to this cutoff score, the more you want to go do a reanalysis, get another sample, or get more to your sample and, and see which direction it goes. Maybe you just didn't take a large enough sample, or, or you see what I'm saying? So when you're close to this, even if you're not that close to this, you still might want to resample if you feel really strongly about your, your claim, right? Um, but yeah, that, that's pathetic. I'm not going to waste my time. But that was a really small sample, too. So there's chances that it was not well picked or just random choice. Chance it happened to be uh, not distributed correctly. So the same kind of problem is going to happen with chi-square. If my sample is too small and all these things, it's not going to come out reliable in the end. So we want a larger sample, like always. Okay. Mmm. So that was just a little taste of that. Yes. How do you answer that? Oh, uh... So, let me see. The, the, the exact way the book worded this question was... <laughs> I love it. I love them. Uh, 
a teacher predicts that the distribution of grades will be this, and they that was the percentages. That's what they predicted. And then the book just says, what can you conclude? Well, we can conclude that we can't reject that they're the same. So we didn't find evidence to say that they're not the same. Does that, do you see what I'm saying? So we, we did not find evidence that they're not the same. So it looks like the predict, teacher's prediction was could very well be true. We haven't found evidence to say that the prediction was false. I don't know how else to say that. I think it's a lot of ways. If I knew more languages, I would say them in that. My first language is math. English is my second. He was like, that shows, Jeff. All right. So, so I really want you to understand, we just did 11.1 and 11.2, because 11.1 is just an introduction to chi-square by itself. Uh, so I think uh, Thursday, we'll start with a quiz, and then we'll do some, uh, I'll make a little handout that's a lightning round of finding chi-square scores. No, no, uh, quiz is on chapter 12. I never give you a quiz on what we just covered yet. Oh, uh, it was number 8, page 609. I mean, it's number 9. Sorry, number 9, page 609. Yeah. So chapter 12, we haven't seen it.